Welcome back everyone. So today we are going to be playing with a modified strainer, sink strainer. So I noticed I had the gaps, four gap, four gap, four gap. And so I wanted to play with it and kind of separate it. So you could see, as you can see, I created little walls in between. So it's two gap, two in each section. And we're gonna be doing it on this 12 by 12. I already have it pre, uh, it's a nice linen one, all nice taped off, and we, yes, yes I am bringing back the banding wheel. It's been a while since I played on that too. So, I know it's been about a week since I've posted anything, I apologize between the show last Saturday and getting everything prepped for that, then getting photographs of all the jewelry and art that didn't sell. I'm still uploading art for you guys over on my Etsy, but all of the jewelry is up. And my 100th listing is up as well, and it ended up being that rainbow bottom bo bottle bottom, which I painted a fairy flower in the center. Right here. And kind of play with the rainbow and the bottle bottom, and to celebrate my 100th listing on Etsy, I decided to bring out the rainbow colors. Oh, there we go. I decided to bring out the rainbow colors again, and this time we are going to play with this modified strainer. So, in no general order, we have our Color Shift Aqua, the Lucas Krill Prussian Blue, um, Color Shift Blue, Let's move some of these over because there's not enough space right there. And then jumping into this deep violet that I made, going into this color shift purple flash, color shift red, Soho cad red, color shift orange, Soho yellow ochre, Soho cad yellow light, color shift green. Center stage from Sharon Williams. It's vivid, vivid, bright neon green. And Soho is Harker's green. And then since there's 16 little slots, bringing it up to 16 colors, we have Black Acrylic in brass, Soho Mars Black, and Craftsmart Gold, which I'm going to be lacing in throughout. And our base is just gonna be a white base. So let me get that down for you guys, and I'll be right back. All right, so now that we have our base coat down, and those of you that are out there that are new to acrylic pouring, we put a base coat down like this to help any new paints going onto the canvas flow. Let's get this nice and centered. I'm trying to decide which way I want it, so. How about there? So, we throw this into the time lapse. With a fun little spin for you guys, and wish me luck. Let's see how this modified strainer turns out. And here we have it, which I kind of love it. It's really psychedelic. <laughs> like all those cool little cells and everything. Let me see if I can get you guys a little bit closer. Kind of spin this around so you guys can see it from different angles. 
Yeah. I, I'm not even gonna touch a little bit of light. I don't mind it. And I know it's probably going to close up and sink on its own, but there's so many cool little caterpillar cells and everything. And I just, oh, this fun, like, groovy, psychedelic pattern going on here. Yeah, and I like the little bits of green that are popping up separate. And like the red over here. And the purple coming this way and a little bit of the blue, like, it came out cooler than I thought it was going to. I'm definitely gonna have to play with that little sink strainer some more, maybe modify it in other ways, see what else I can do with it. But let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. Like, I wanted something rainbow, I wanted something different, and I got it. I got something that I'm like, I love. It's so cool looking. I know it look, probably looks like chaos to everyone else, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this, if you guys want to see more fun strainer modifications and maybe I can modify some bottle bottoms and everything else. I just want to like change it up a bit and have fun. And this was fun. It's super easy. So yeah. Oh, also don't forget to hit like, share, comment, little subscribe button if you're new and you want to see more stuff like this, if you want to see more drawing stuff and everything else, I have a schedule. I actually have a dry erase board right in front of me that I am planning everything out from now on. So I will have certain days for drawing, certain days for paint pours, and certain days for tutorials and everything else. So, but I'll have a video coming up for you guys about the scheduling. And that way it's a little bit more consistent and everything starting from April on. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.